Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the next episode of Building with Whip. So in the past, you guys have constantly been asking me if we're using concrete powder. And the reason why I haven't yet is I haven't had any sort of cocoa bean production. I didn't have any cocoa beans at all until I finally went over to the jungle again. What the heck is that cobblestone doing up there? And got a lot of cocoa beans, so we got a bunch right here. And I went ahead and built this wall and cleared out the area. But we're going to put in a makeshift cocoa farm today. Nothing that's going to be super insane, but more or less, I just want something that we can come down here every once in a while when we need to. And just tell it to break all of, just basically a piston wall that's going to move that back and that just move it one that way and one that way. So we're going to go ahead right now and just set up some chests. We probably are going to need to clear some more space over here. You know what, let's just put the chest over this way so it all kind of feeds to here. That'll be able to give us some kind of reason for it. So we're going to do the chest like that. And these guys are both going to go into there. And we're basically just going to kind of bring these hoppers all the way back. The reason we're doing it out two instead of just the one is sometimes the cocoa beans come all the way out to the second area. Sometimes they go to the third, but it's fine. We'll be down here every time we break it. This farm doesn't need to be the most efficient. I'm really okay with it just kind of being here so we can get some production on it. But basically, it's really simple. I kind of came up with the design myself using some observers. And basically, we just need a bunch of pistons looking at this thing right here. I went ahead and made everything, I believe. Yep, there's our pistons. And we can go ahead and just kind of... Nope, there. That's what we want. Go ahead and just stack these guys all the way up on this side. I'll just do one side with you guys and then we can go ahead and go back and do the next. That's there we go. Thank you. And yeah, okay, so there's our pistons right there. Basically, these guys are just going to move the wall one that way. Then we're going to have another stack of pistons right here. Actually, let's just go ahead and do this right now together because we can. It really won't take that long. And we just kind of stack all the pistons going straight up here. And we got to clear out a little bit more space. Probably need to bring this whole wall back or this whole ceiling up one. But it's fine. Most of this will actually be hidden once we're done with it, which is nice. This is a really basic design. Basically, we're just using a few observers and a redstone button that's going to fire out of here. And we're going to have the redstone redstoney bits kind of come back in here and go all the way under and basically they just go right back along here and this is literally all the redstone is just going to be a line running back here which will then catch an observer that's going to be positioned right there so our redstone literally just needs to go like this and i want to do a repeater right in here at max ticks so it delays that wall a little bit right there and then we can kind of just bring it all up to here. Throw a piece of cobblestone right there for now. And basically the button, making sure that powers up the line. Yep, it does. Perfect. So what we do here is we literally just take an observer. No, nope, wrong way, observer. Maybe, maybe we can do this. Let's grab some stone so we can kind of just go up with it. Yep, so like that. And then let's use cobblestone just for now we do that do a little bit right there and then we need to go up again and do another observer with another thingy with another bit right there and that should actually be basically all the redstone i kind of suck at this so that's it right there that's basically our redstone so right here we're going to do our observer right there that that and i don't think we can place an observer like that that probably will not work Nope, you are the wrong way again, sir. Can we, please? Let's, do we, can we go up? Yeah, well, we need to go up anyways. That's fine. Okay, so like that. Observer. Block. Redstone. Now let's test this bad boy out. Because basically all it's going to do is it shoves it all that way and shoves it all back. Yeah, so it does a little double stutter, but that's fine. I don't really care. And now we just get to come in here with our cocoa beans, make sure it's all working just fine. And that should be great right there. I'm thinking right now we're actually probably going to want to hide those chests. But this is going to give us more than enough cocoa than we could ever need. And we don't need to break everything off of it. So we can kind of just come down here whenever. 
and do that and throw all the rest of this cocoa in there. Grab that cobblestone out. And guys, that's pretty much it. As many of you guys know, on Wednesday, the 1.12 uh, officially released. And what I said was my texture pack would be coming out just after that, after I got a few things finished. So we're gonna jump over into super flat and I will give you guys a tour of what we have going on over there. All right, guys, welcome to the creative test world that I've been kind of messing around with all the texture pack things. We're just gonna do another quick walkthrough here. We're not gonna be doing these every time we release updates for the texture pack, but just to get everybody caught up to speed, for starters, for those that don't care about this part, the link is in the description down below to download the texture pack. So go on down there and download it. You can play it to your heart's content. I really hope you guys enjoy using it. Let me know what you guys create in general with it. I'm really, really excited to see where this thing goes. Anyways, moving forwards, trap doors are now this texture instead of basically that. Bookshelves, I'm working on still, but we added one variety where the bottom is just a little open, adds a little bit of variety to it, still gonna be improving it. That right there, diorite, we changed. No longer looks like bird poop. Polished diorite, we changed. No longer looks like polished bird poop. These guys, we have not changed yet. The leaves, we have changed slightly. We've changed the birch leaves. They're a little bit lighter. Oak, acacia leaves are even lighter than that. And dark oak leaves are much darker than they were originally. Before, dark oak leaves, acacia leaves, and oak leaves all looked the exact same. Now there's a slight variation between them, so you can actually use them. It's great. Um, but yeah, we might change the texture up on the acacia leaves in the future just because. Beyond that, note blocks are now this guy. Still works as note blocks, but they are a crate with a bunch of different variations of how they can look. I really, really like them. And yeah. Big changes that we've done so far, the basically the core of the remake of the texture pack has been the sandstone thus far. Regular sandstone has all these different varieties of it. Smooth sandstone has the regular smooth sandstone as well as a stone brick variant of it, which is a large brick. So we got, and then red, red sandstone has been the co whole color palette has been changed so it's actually usable with different parts of Minecraft. You know, now it's not something that looks obtrusively weird. So yeah, smooth sandstone is the same. Regular red sandstone is the exact same as well. And here you can see the red sand kind of looks a lot better instead of being bright red against the rest. But guys, that is all the texture pack changes so far. There's not a whole lot of them. I don't want to go too extreme with it. But we will be jumping back into survival now, so I'll catch you all over there. Alright guys, so this episode is very much about getting a lot of functional stuff done. You guys will have to let me know what you think about that resource pack though when you start using it. But, so first we did that cocoa farm, and now we are actually going to be making a uh, slime farm next. Which I found a slime chunk and I was able to cut it out. We're just going to make a lot of these. Let's see, we want... So what we need is we need some sand and some cactus and a punk. Is it a pumpkin or a jack-o'-lantern that makes the iron golem? I don't know. Let's bring one. I think it's just a pumpkin. But uh, where is cactus? There we go. So we're just going to make a really basic slime cactus farm. We need some fences too, actually. I already cleared out the area where we want to create this farm. It is in a slime chunk. I already did check that. We're good to go there. Uh, how many can we make? We probably want, let's see, uh, eight, and then let's see, let's just make 20. 20 should be good right now. Well, we have a crafting, we can bring a crafting table with us if we need to make more when we're down there. But while we're working our way down there, there was one thing I did want to bring up, guys. I've been hearing a lot of things, or I've been reading a lot of the comments you guys left after I put out that channel update video, and I just kind of wanted to reassure you guys on a few of those things. I'm really not going towards the clickbaity, make it big quick on YouTube type thing. I just wanted to make sure you guys know that. Just kind of breaking the fourth wall here. But I'm my goal is not to become the next, like, 5 million subscriber Minecraft YouTube channel like if that happens awesome but the whole way I'm gonna make sure for sure that I enjoy what I'm doing and I hope that makes sense to you guys I, I know there's some confusion we need a half slap too sorry uh, I know there's some confusion in those comments kind of 
long what I was saying and I rewatched the video and I understand where you guys get that from, but I do just want to reassure you guys that we're not going to be um, doing a lot of like clickbaity stuff like to like for example a lot of people are were saying or like a lot of clickbaity Minecraft videos are hey these are 10 quick tips on how to improve blah 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 building and that's not what I want to do that would kill my inspiration very very quickly and that's why you guys never really see me making tutorial videos so just kind of wanted to touch on that really quickly before we get too far into it. I will jump down into the mines and meet you guys down there. All right, so here we are. This is our slime chunk right here. Where the stairs are, that's actually the borders. The outside, I cleared it out just a little bit more to get some more space to work with. But inside here in the center, basically what we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and throw a piece of sand down right there. And then we want to do our three cactuses stacked on top of it. And because slimes are dumb, we are able to kill them purely by having all this stuff right here. And what we gotta do now is we need to get an iron golem up here at the top. And that's basically how this farm works is we're gonna spawn an iron golem right here. And this works because slimes are attracted to iron, that's not a fence. Slimes are attracted to iron golems and the iron golem won't despawn on us. So we can kind of just leave it up here and it just chills and sits there and the slimes can't touch it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Here's our blocks of iron, and it's just bam, 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 and I believe we just do a pumpkin, right? Is that not it? How do you make an iron golem? All right, so I was right on how we spawned it. I had to go check to be sure. So when you put the fences all the way around in the circle, you can't have the fences right there and right there. So what we need to actually do is kind of brace this guy in here real quick. And hopefully we don't mess this up too terribly. I'm going to go ahead and put some slabs right here and here and build a wider fence just for now so our guy can't get all the way out. And then hopefully we can kind of corral him in here and get him right into the center. Yep, there's our iron golem. Cool, we got him right there and perfect. He is stuck now. Now let's get all these things cleaned up and put away. And he will basically stay here. We don't even have to do anything with him. And that is basically how you automate the slime farm because slimes are dumb and they will literally just stay here attacking, trying to attack him even though they can't. And then down here underneath, we go ahead and just kind of clear all this stuff out. And yeah, slimes are pretty stupid, but we they kind of blow up outside of just the one that's where... They blow up outside of the block they die on. And they're gonna kill themselves trying to run into the cactus to get up to our iron golem. I think we actually want to bring that down one to right there, but I don't really know how we can do that uh, to being on the lower slab of that half slab, but that's gonna be kind of difficult. So what we wanna do here is I'm just gonna set up our chest right here so we can have our chest. Bam, bam. And then we grab our hoppers. Those are feeding into that guy. And these are all going to feed straight around. I hope this is enough hoppers. It's definitely not enough hoppers, but that's fine. You guys see how this is kind of done. And we need just a few, we need four more hoppers. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. We can make that happen. And where are they? There they are, one, two, three, four. Three, we need one more thing of iron. We're almost out of iron again. I know we've been trying to finish out that um, beacon up top, but I think we're gonna have to put that on the back burner for a little while. But basically guys, this is our slime farm right here, which is pretty cool. It's very simple as you can see. This is gonna passively get us some slime balls every once in a while. It's not perfect. If you guys have better ideas on how to set them up, let me know. Uh, throughout, I went on like Mine Atlas and whatnot and looked for where we had our slime chunks. And we have this guy, then there's one on the other side of the desert area. I think this one's in range of our AFK area at the fishing farm. So that's cool, which will really, really help us out. And beyond that, that's pretty much, it's this one or one on the other end of the desert. Then right across in the savanna biome, there's four slime chunks right next to each other, which is cool. But that's fine. Don't really need to be using those. So what I'm working on next and what I plan on doing is I really want to get to the end so we can finally get an elytra and get some shulker boxes and kind of help our storage issues. But 
I went ahead and I was farming Enderman, and it didn't really work out that well. Uh, I really hope there's not a creeper right up here. Please, thank you. Thank you. Uh, our shield's almost dead, but I think we can maybe kill these. That's a lot of creepers. That's a crap ton of creepers. It's a creep ton. Ha ha! No, I'm, I'm sorry. That's a terrible joke. Um, please. Yep, please. Yep. Run, run, run! No! Don't let me on fire. Bad creeper. Oh god, I heard that explosion sound. The hissing, and I thought I was gonna blow up behind me. No! <laughs> Dude, I swear, husk aggro from like a mile away. Hey, Enderman, there you are. Come here. Come up here. You know you want to get up here. Come on, up here. Let's run over this way. But these husks were all standing over on that hill, and they aggroed to here. All right, if I run over this way, will the Enderman come up here? I've been trying to get him to come up here, because then I can fight him safely without really having to worry about it, but it's kind of difficult to fire sword. But, yeah. We don't have any yet. They None of them have died near me or have dropped ender pearls. That, hey, we got one! So last time I was out here farming some, I was like, you know, four eye of enders, that's pretty cool. We got some decent stuff there, that's enough. Look at all of these, and they're not gonna burn in the morning either. But I, I threw both the pearl, or I threw, turned them into eyes of ender with my last blaze rod, and they sent me that way. And then I activated, I threw one and it broke on the first try. And I was really, like, really? Are you kidding me? Like, how bad of luck do we actually have? And then I threw the second one and it broke right away too. Come on, come on. I know you want to teleport up here. Yeah, come on, Mr. Enderman. Come into my arena. Our unfinished pyramid, potentially not pyramid. Oh, well, there you are. Potentially palace of sorts. I have an idea for the palace though, guys, if we do that route. So I'm excited to see what you guys have to say regarding that. Again, still kind of looking for ideas of which route we want to go here. So I'm kind of finding ways to keep busy with other tasks that we need to get done sooner or later. But yeah, there's two eyes, two ender eyes, ender pearls, whatever you want to call them. It's almost daytime and we're going to have an army of husks right down here. So that's pretty fun. So I stayed up for the rest of the night and gathered a little bit more stuff. A few more ender pearls. We got five now. But guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this video here for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Let me know what you guys think about everything down in the comments below. Hit that like button if you're new. Dislike if you didn't like it. Just let me know how you guys think. Either way works for me because then I can improve. Uh, if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. But as always, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Come here, spider. Come here. Come here, spider. Come here. Yeah.